Hello everyone and welcome back to another score predictions video on my channel. Um, today we're doing more EFL Championship predictions. Um, I recently just uploaded my predictions for match day 6. Um, quickly moving on to match day 7 because we have got Tuesday night and Wednesday night kickoffs. Midweek games uh, starting on Tuesday and starting in two days time so I've got to get this video released. Um, Nottingham Forest and Cardiff City haven't played yet. They're playing this afternoon. Um, so these were the results from yesterday's games. Um, a few of them are predicted right. Um, there's a, a few uh, other results in there that um, really um, are quite surprising. Um, the main one that stands out there is the Sheffield United one after not having the greatest of starts with only scoring like one goal a game um, after being relegated from the Premier League, uh, Premier League going into the international break in 22nd place, I think it was, after drawing two, losing three. They absolutely smashed Petersbury United 6-2 um, at, um, at Bremel Lane. Um, six goals they've scored at home. And guess who's going there on Tuesday? We are. Great, we go. I don't know how we're gonna. I'm gonna predict them. Um, how, how am I gonna predict Preston for that game? But let's move on to match day seven. Here we are. Um, obviously with Cardiff and Nottingham Forest once again. I did mention before they have not played, but we've got to just push on from that. Starting off against Bo uh, starting off with the game Bournemouth against QPR. Bournemouth fifth place currently. Queens Park Rangers fourth place with QPR not losing a game so far, Lo um, drawing three and winning three. Bournemouth, they once again have not lost a game. They have won three, drawn three. This is going to be a brilliant game. Um, I'm going to back Bournemouth to get a win, though. Um, you know, I know the most obvious result for this would be a draw. Bournemouth, I would like to say, are a better side, and QPR, they the reason they're up there. Sorry if there's any QPR fans out here. You've you've got some good results. You're doing very well in fourth place. Um, but I'd like to say your results were against the clubs that you would really expect to get. Now you're going to play against the hard clubs. For example, Bournemouth. And I know Bournemouth, um, they've really drawn some games that they probably should have won. Uh, but I think this is going to be a game that they will win. It will be a tight one. And I will say it will be a 2-1 win for the uh, the Cherries, the home side, in this game. Blackburn Rovers, they did drew, they drew 2-2 uh, with Luton Town in their last game after having a 2-0 lead, uh, losing it at the end in 90 minutes plus 8 added on uh, a Luton equaliser to make it 2-2. Hull City did very, very well to get a 0-0 draw with Swansea. I know Swansea haven't really been the same now that they've, everything's changed about them. Um coming into this season so you know maybe it's just going to be a mid-table finish for Swansea I don't think they'll go down um, but they'll have to do some work in the transfer window definitely Swansea but we'll come to them later Blackburn um, currently sat in ninth place Hull City in 20th place this should be an easy win Blackburn's going to be able to score two again Hull City isn't um, they'll get this comfortable win this time they did kind of the the, the defensive uh, part of Blackburn in their last game was very poor to, to lose that 2-0 lead that they did. Luckily for them, they are against Hull City in this game, so it will be a little bit easier for Blackburn. But, um, yeah, the, the Blackburn, it, it, they could concede one. It could be 2-1 in this one. But moving on to Blackpool. Boo! Um, they did win their first game at home. Um, this season, uh, also their first win of the season, um, but uh, it was against Fulham, and you know I I don't know what happened. Fulham are currently second place. This is the championship for you. You know I'm scared about playing Sheffield United. It was Blackpool against Fulham. Fulham should have absolutely. I predicted it to be three 0 to Fulham. Blackpool they've been terrible at home. They've not picked up any points at home. Um, the points that they got before this game um, were two draws, um, uh, uh, which they were away. I'm pretty sure I think they were away. Um, and the fact that Blackpool can beat Fulham, 
they can beat anyone and they'll be thinking in this game, we've just beaten Fulham at home. We're, we're at home again against Huddersfield Town, which I would like to say are not a... They're a good side uh, now, Huddersfield. Uh, they're currently 8th place. They may drop off a little bit. They might have got their points from some some smaller clubs. Uh, but they're a good side, Huddersfield. Not as good as Fulham, I would like to say. And Blackpool will be thinking that they'll be able to win this one. Huddersfield did lose 2-1 to Stoke, as I expected. That's what I put down for my prediction uh, last week. Um, and... Black, it's, I'm going to say it's a Huddersfield Town win. Blackpool are going to be like, believing in this game. They're not going to be able to score one. It will be a very tight game. It will be a 1-0 win for Huddersfield Town. I don't think there will be that many goals scored. Blackpool will, after defending against Fulham, they did very, very well. And the, I think they, they do that again, they'll almost be able to keep a, a, a clean sheet. I don't think they'll be able to score. They were very lucky to get that win against Fulham. Fulham, definitely the better side. Um, so, Huddersfield, sh I I I'll back them to break them down, but it will still be pretty hard. Here we go, Sheffield United, the 6-2 winners uh, coming uh, up against Preston North End. Preston, they drew 0-0 with Bristol City. Uh, that puts us mid-table in 12th place um, with Sheffield United now coming up they are now in 18th place after their victory yesterday. You know, after the poor side Sheffield United had, I would say Preston could win this game. Preston did very well to keep the clean sheet against Bristol. Bristol did very well to keep the clean sheet against Preston. Both teams going at it at each other um, yesterday. It was a very entertaining match. A very nervy match as well. I think both sides will be able to score. And, you know, after Sheffield United scoring six, they'll be looking to absolutely break down Preston in this game. And I'm going to say they'll be able to score two. Now, this is interesting. Originally, I was going to say a 1-1 draw uh, coming on into this game. Um... Now, Sheffield, they did concede two. They conceded two to Petersburg, um, but that's not the that's not the reason they scored six. Their attack is very good. We defended well against Bristol. It's whether or not we can take that defending into this game or not. I'm going to say we're going to lose this game. Sheffield United, I know they had the worst start, but let's not forget they have a very good side. Um, and they have just come down from the Premier League. Let's hope, again, that I am proven wrong in this. Um, but, you know, it's going to be very tricky for us. We're away from home. We're going to the home that scored six goals. Um, the only thing we can really hope for is Sheffield United's defence. And our defence is better than theirs. We'll have to go for that. OK, moving on to Reading. Wow, what a game. Reading, a 3-3 draw with QPR last game out. Um, after winning 3-1 with the final 10 minutes to go, conceding 2 in the last 10 minutes to draw 3-3. Um, Reading haven't been the best this season. Um, ooh, it's it's going to be tight because knowing that Reading can score all those goals, but also they can, can concede the goals, I'll go for a 2-2 draw in this game. It'll be a high-scoring draw. Okay, next up is West Brom against Derby County. West Brom... Uh, with four wins, two draws at the, the start of their campaign. Currently in first place, but the draw that they did get last game was against Millwall. It was a 1-1 draw. Uh, again, another proof that the championship could be anything. Millwall fans probably going into that game thinking we're going to get beaten. Um, and then they're coming away with a point, so very well done. Uh, against an, another side that's just got relegated from the Premier League. That's why I have to hope that we can pick up a point against Sheffield United. Um they are playing Derby County this time, which are currently 16th place after... Um, they've, they've not been the best Derby. They've got one win, two draws, two losses. Again, they're really a side that's going to be um, mid-table for me. Like They're not going to have a relegation scrap like they did last season. I, they will survive, um, but they will be in the lower half of the table. 
West Brom to Derby nil. That's what I'm going to go for. West Brom will, will will pick up the three points here. They'll be annoyed with the the, the two point drop. Uh, last game out, they'll pick it up here. This would be an interesting one. Birmingham City they did beat Derby County two nil uh, last game. Um, Fulham, of course, they did lose one nil to Blackpool. Um, Birmingham City they've been really well uh, done really well this season. This could be the rise of them again. Birmingham City uh, changing. Uh, after the signings of some brilliant players, um, it'll be a draw for me. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw because both teams are going to want to win this one. Fulham probably are the favourites coming into this one. Uh, but Bo uh, Birmingham City is going to be wanting to defend um, re uh, like in this game. That's probably going to be their aim, but also they're going to have to... They've got that really good attacking side to them, Birmingham as well. So I will back them to score one and I will think Fulham will squeeze one past Birmingham somewhere in the game so that's where I, that's where I get the 1-1 draw from uh, moving on to Bristol City they drew 0-0 with Preston last game Luton drew 2-2 with Blackburn and this one is going to be one of the tightest of games sorry about that um, it's Luton in 12th place currently Bristol in 11th place um, both on 8 points It'll be a draw in this one. It has to be, really. Um, Bristol are at home again, just like they were Preston. They did well to keep the clean sheet. Um, they could have scored. If I am going to back someone to win this one, I would say Luton in this one, actually. Uh, but I am going to go for a 1-1 draw. Bristol City, they haven't been the greatest at home this season. Um, once again, it was their, the first time that they, they didn't manage to concede when we came. Um, but they didn't manage to score one either. If there is going to be a winner, it will be once again Luton coming late. I would reckon um, to get a 2-1 victory in like the, the 80th minute. Um, like late, late on in the 80th minute, really. Um, so that this could end 2-1 to Luton. But I will say because Bristol did very well, the, the defence did very well to keep the clean sheet against Preston. Um, I would say only a 1-1 draw in this one. Coventry City uh, coming up against Cardiff. Cardiff not played yet. Coventry City, a team that did well last season. Finished mid-table. They are now in the playoff area after the first um, six match days. Um, currently in sixth place after winning four, drawing none and losing two. Um this is going to be an interesting one. Cardiff City, as I said, not played. So um, they are currently 10th place, Cardiff. But if they do win, they could move up to 8th place today. Um, so, again, it's going to be another tight game. Coventry, I would like to think Cardiff can win this one. But Coventry do have a really good... They do have a really good side. Um, Coventry City... When we do look at their last games, they beat Middlesbrough 2-0. So, very well done to you. Very well done. You did lose 2-0 to QPR. And you did narrowly beat Reading, which have been struggling again. But you did manage to score two goals again. You narrowly beat Blackpool 1-0. Again, Blackpool, not the greatest of sides. They're really a side that will just defend and try their best to concede as uh, little goals as possible. Um and then you did get a narrow victory, 2-1 against Nottingham Forest. But again, scoring two goals in this one. Um, and Nottingham Forest coming up to them next. Currently bottom of the table with one point. Obviously, they've not played Cardiff City yet. But I'd like to think that Cardiff can beat Nottingham today. So, um, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw in this one. It's going to be um, a very entertaining match. Uh, both teams playing each other, which can score goals. Um Moving on to Nottingham Forest, I'll quickly just put this one in. Middlesbrough, I know, pretty poor result against Coventry. Um, you're playing against Nottingham Forest. Any Nottingham Forest fans in here, I told you before, it is the championship. Anything can happen. You can win this game. Trust me. Um, they're just more likely to result as Middlesbrough could come away with this. Swansea again against Millwall. Both teams been struggling so far coming into this season. Millwall probably more likely to pick up a result out of any team. Millwall only won one, lost two, drawn three. Swansea again, they've only won one, drawn two, lost three. Um, so, yeah, Millwall 
we all know really that that if, if there's going to be a draw in the championship, it will be Millwall, just like the last game they drew one one against a very good West Brom side. There's going to be another draw, but I'm going to say two two in this one because, um, you know what? No, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go for another one one. Both sides they've picked up loads of draws together. Stoke City which are currently in third place. Barnsley, which are currently in seventh, uh, seventh, seventeenth. sorry, Barnsley. Yeah, I, I knew that they weren't going to do the greatest this season just because they finished in the top six last season. They did very well. Uh, Barnsley, so far, they've only won one. They've drawn three. They've lost two. Stoke City, they did, uh, they did win their last game 2-1 against Huddersfield. I did mention it back up when I was saying with Huddersfield. Um, it'll be... Uh, Stoke, yeah, they're a very good side this this season. Um, they're, they're aiming to get back up into the Premier League after about five, six years now since they, they were last in it. And they've been mid-table since they came down. And they're staging their chance to get back up into the Premier League. Same as what Birmingham City's doing uh, when Birmingham City were last in it, oh, I don't know, 10, ye 10 years ago uh, now. Um, so... Yeah, I would say a nice, comfortable 2-0 victory for Stoke here. Barnsley's not really the same team as they were last season. Um, so, yeah, that is going to finish it up for the Championship um, Match Day 7. Uh, once again, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you all uh, soon for another video. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.